Hello, this is Photography Gamer. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm reviewing eFootball PES 2021 Lite for the PS4. The game is also available for the Xbox One and Microsoft Windows. eFootball PES 2021 Lite is a free-to-play football game developed by Konami. So what is the game like to play? Well, matches in pairs are more tactical than end-to-end -end affairs, with an emphasis on passing, strategy and tactics to break down the opposition. I'd say if you're more of a tactician you'll appreciate PES, but if you're looking for pure fun then it's going to be a bit of a struggle for you at first. But this will be alleviated with a great sense of satisfaction when you string together some beautiful passing moves to score that last minute winner. In terms of game modes, this light version doesn't feature everything from the full game. In kickoff mode you can play a local or co-op match with five official teams including Juventus and Barcelona. You can participate in training drills which are a great way to get the hang of the controls if you're a new PES player. You have eFootball mode which features a match day and online tournament option, but I'd say the main mode in PES Lite is My Club, which is pretty similar to FIFA Ultimate Team, as in you choose your club of choice and start with a roster of god awful players. Then it's up to you to build a team using agents, trades, managerial signings and picking up special legends via the slightly muddled transfer system. You can play matches against AIs or you can have a ranked match against other human players online. The good thing about this mode is it lets you pick any team from the start. But early on it is a bit of a grind and can be quite demoralising until you get a decent squad together. One of the biggest issues with my club mode is the speed restriction and the online matches are on the default zero speed which is far far too slow. The preferable speed is plus two which makes the game feel a lot more exciting. So being forced to use the default zero setting it makes everything feel very very slow. The ball moves like it's a 10 ton weight and everything just takes an absolute eternity. And the online matches are plagued by button lag, which makes most matches really frustrating and almost unplayable. The progression in my club feels artificially slow, so you'll be tempted to buy the virtual currency to get a better roster quicker. So in the end, my club, it is a little bit of a mess, I'd say. In light, you also have access to the full edit mode, which is great if you want to mod the game. Modding is synonymous with PES as the game is never fully licensed. Why? I don't really know. It's not like Konami are an indie developer, but every year they release a game with unlicensed leagues and teams. And the only way to remedy this is to mod the game yourself. In summary, PES 2021 Lite is a good free football game that will give you a small taste of what the full game has to offer, with enough content to keep you busy for a quick session, but nothing more than that really. Graphically, the game is almost identical to the 2020 version. The players look fairly realistic and stadiums are fine with decent animations that look fairly believable. The menus have had a small overhaul but they're still very messy, confused and lacking any real sort of wow factor. Sound wise PES has always been underdeveloped when compared to other sports simulations and this edition is no different. The commentary is turgid and monotonous and the crowd effects need a vast overhaul. Ok, what's good and what's bad? What's good? Exhibition mode is good for a quick match. The edit mode is fully functional if you want to mod the game. It's good for a quick couch co-op session or online versus match. My club mode is quite extensive and gameplay wise it feels fairly realistic. What's bad? The online matches are incredibly slow. My club is a confusing mess of a mode. Button lag ruins most online matches. The game still has many unofficial leagues. The gameplay hasn't really evolved from last year's version. There are limited modes to take part in and the commentary is appalling. So what's the verdict? eFootball PES 2021 Lite is pretty much identical to the 2020 version. Barring a few new kits there really isn't a great deal to differentiate between the two. If you're looking for a free to play football game for a quick exhibition match then I would recommend it. My club however is a complete mess and with the slower nature of the gameplay it doesn't really help sell the PES brand to new players. PES is at its best in Master League or Become a Legend mode, both of which aren't featured in light. PES Lite is like an extended demo. Turn up the speed to plus two, play a few exhibition matches and if you enjoy that, get the full game and get stuck into Master League. 
In short, it's a realistic, tactical and in-depth football simulation that has a lot of qualities, but this light version is only suitable for exhibition matches as my club is a mind-numbing bore with clumsy menus, super slow gameplay and button lag that will drive you insane. So with all that being said, my score for eFootball PES 2021 Lite is 6 out of 10. Okay, that was the review. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. This is Photography Gamer, signing off. Thank you.